Providing broadband remains a new world for many electric cooperatives, one that is competitive in nature and requires resources that are different and sometimes more comprehensive than your electric business. Unprecedented funding availability from federal and state governments in recent years has spurred electric co-ops and large telecom companies alike to expand high-speed internet service to rural communities. Then people start getting in line, and so the larger companies, because they're so big, they have a tendency to run over the little guy and the small guy, which is what cooperatives are in this world. So we have to stand up for our members in that respect. NRECA is doing just that with a new broadband fee-for-service offering that responds to our members' request for a more comprehensive representation on broadband with legislators and regulators through direct lobbying, frequent communications, and serving as a convener for our members. I think it speaks to the history of our cooperative program here in Washington, D.C. We have been a voice uh, and a presence. So I think this program will allow us to be that same voice and that same activate, activating group that they will, they will need to listen to us. So it's very important that we, uh, that we have this voice. We've committed that we're serving all of our members. We're not gonna pick and choose. So the advocacy in Washington, D.C. and our state governments has got to be there so that we can uh, bring this service to them at affordable rates. We're learning every day. It is complex, it's complicated. So that's where we're, we rely on NRECA to help sort through those facts and those requirements and the things that we're gonna be asked to do. But at the end of the day, our mission is still, what can we do for our member to be the best provider of services to our member in our communities, which enhances and improves their quality of life. The broadband tier will bring co-ops together to advocate as one, to solve common issues, to learn from the first movers and the technology innovators, to continue to drive broadband strategies forward in rural areas. You know, I think back to 80 years ago, I know that job was hard, it, it was before my time. But I try to envision what was it like, the first few meetings, where do we start? Where did we begin and how do we build this? Where do we get the money? They got funding, they got expertise, they got guidance. And from there we built an electric system. I see us doing the same thing with telecom broadband. Where we can share that burden, uh, we all benefit by it. Uh, I've been a big proponent of sharing my stories of what we've done, not that we're the model co-op. But if my lessons and mistakes can help somebody else not make those same mistakes, we help one another become stronger and stronger and stronger every day. That's the power, the real power of the cooperative spirit is we help one another. And have for years, we'll do it again.